Welcome to the next episode in this series of short video tutorials on how to digitize with Singer's Professional Sewwear Deluxe Embroidery Software, known as PSW Deluxe. My name is Tanya Owens, and I will be your guide through this series. This tutorial focuses on the tools in PSW Intro and Deluxe to view and bring designs and machine stitch files into the software. There are a variety of free and full cost embroidery browsers available. However, you do not need to obtain any of them to view, center, optimize, change size, or color of designs because PSW Intro and Deluxe both come with the powerful design browser. Both applications also include the design library, which has the 200 designs that come bundled with this SE300, SE340, and EM200 sewing and embroidery machines. These designs are sorted by hoop size to make it easier to choose for your project. And lastly, if you have PSW Deluxe, you also have access to the embroidery design collection, which is a catalog of 2,900 designs that you can stitch out or edit and create new designs with. The design library contains the 200 designs bundled with your machine. Designs 1 through 69 are on your machine, and designs 70 through 200 are located on the Black Singer USB stick. However, with PSW Intro and Deluxe, you can access all 200 designs organized by hoop size. The design library is unique because each design is resizable, ensuring at all times exceptional embroidery quality. Go to Create, Design Library, and select a hoop. Designs in a large hoop should only be placed in a large hoop because of their size. Designs in a small hoop can be placed in both the large and small hoops. Scroll down to see and select the design you want. Once you locate the design, click it and then click the OK button. Notice the design is in the ghost frame box on screen. It is best to work with the design while it is in a ghost frame to move, resize, or rotate it by pushing, pulling the handles. To move it, move your mouse over the design, then it turns into a four-way arrow. Click the design and drag it to where you want it. To resize the design, you can resize it proportionally by dragging any of the four corner handles. To change the width only, drag any of the middle handles on the sides. And to change the height, drag only the middle top or bottom handles. To rotate the design, click the center point, the dot in the center of the wireframe. Click it once and it turns into rotating handles. Click it again and it returns to resizing handles. When the handles are rotating handles, the double arrow handles allows you to skew and resize the object, while the round handles on the corner allow you to rotate the object. In PSW Intro, when you click off the object, you cannot get the wireframe to come back. You will then need to go to the design menu and click change size to open the transform dialog box to resize or rotate the design. When you are satisfied with your placement and adjustments, click anywhere on the screen. The design will fill in with stitches. In PSW Deluxe, you can then see each block and color change in the object list. In PSW Intro, if you want to continue resizing or rotating the design, you can click design, change size, and a transform design dialog box will display where you can rotate and resize the design. Make sure you keep the Activate Stitch Processor box checked so that stitches are recalculated and your design stitches correctly. In PSW Deluxe in Neutral Mode, you can simply click and drag over the entire design or press Ctrl A to select all. You can then use the resize handles on the wireframes to resize it or click in the center of the object to display the rotating handles. For more information on editing objects in PSW Deluxe, Refer to the Editing 101 Objects and Text video. Also, follow the steps in the PSW Intro or Deluxe Manuals for guidance on how much you can resize the design. The Design Browser is a quick and easy way to access embroidery design information. The Design Browser allows you to preview designs stored on any device attached to your computer. An added bonus is that you can also see a thumbnail of the embroidery design in Windows Explorer when you select small, medium, large, or extra large icons. The Design Browser automatically generates a thumbnail preview and a color separation preview. Go to File, Design Browser to launch it. The Design Browser has three sections. Section one is the navigation window. You can locate that is navigate to the folder or device, an external drive, USB drive, SD card, CD or network drive, etc. that contains the designs. This is very similar to using the Windows File Explorer. Click the folder to view the designs in the preview window. Section two is the preview window. This window displays all of the designs in a selected folder. It is set up by default to view all the files of any embroidery type, but can be filtered to individual types from the files of type dropdown list. 
If you have a lot of designs in a file folder, you can isolate to the particular file type you want to see. So if you're looking for a design that you are working on and you only want to see working files, you can select to see only CHE files. Or if you obtain a machine stitch file in a format that your machine cannot stitch out, for example, PES, you can select that file type, open it, and save it as an XXX file. Section three is the design information window. This area displays details of the embroidery design you select, such as the dimensions, width and height, stitch count, and number of stop codes. And to the right of that, you can see each color block in your design. Once you have identified the embroidery design file, click the open button. The embroidery design collection contains 2,900 unique stock designs separated into 18 categories. It is only available in PSW Deluxe. To access, go to File, Embroidery Design Collection. It will open up and fill the entire screen. The collection has three sections and a toolbar. Let's look at the toolbar. Clicking the Refresh button returns you to the first folder in design, which is Animals, ANI underscore 001. Clicking the Open button opens a selected design in the hoop. The embroidery design collection will still be open and can be accessed via the window menu. The next three icons are grayed out and can be ignored. The last icon opens the Find Design dialog box. Enter the file name without the extension and click OK. PSW Deluxe locates and loads the design on the black screen. The first section in the left are the categories. There are 18 categories. Each design in the category is prefaced by three letters, an underscore, and a number. So, DUC underscore 001 is from the ducks, while RAB, RAB underscore 001, is from the rabbits category. When you click a design catalog, it loads all of the designs in section two. Using the scroll wheel of your mouse or the scroll bar, you can scroll through the catalog to see the various designs. Once you find one you like, Click it and it will display in a large black window. To place a design in a hoop, double click it or press the open button on the toolbar. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. There are additional videos in this series, so please check my channel to view those videos. I have also written an in-depth guide called Digitizing with PSW Deluxe Embroidery Software that contains greater detail than is in these videos. You can purchase this guide from my website at www.tanyaowens.com slash PSW Deluxe. That information is also in the description below. Until next time, happy digitizing. Thank you.